I'm watching one child over here and one child down here. So if I'm a little distracted in the video, that's why. No, that's okay. So I read something this morning. I was reading in the book of Luke and I was reading the story about um, the man that had many devils inside of him and how he came out of a cave and he used to cut himself and he would yell all the time and many times the people in the city had tried to um, you know catch him and and help him maybe um, and the devils would strengthen him and he would break the chains and he would get loose and and anyhow this man was just a nut job and um, he was like unhelpable right and so everybody in town knew that well Jesus came and he helped the man he cast the devils out of the man and he cast them into the swine and what did the swine do they ran um, off of a cliff and drowned themselves so the people in the city came out and they were angry because Jesus had caused them to lose you know money um, and and so they were afraid and they were angry and they they asked Jesus to leave and so Jesus left well the man that had the devils cast out of him um, he, you know, when the people from the city came out, they saw him clothed and, and in his right mind, but they still asked Jesus to leave. And so that man uh, chased after Jesus and went to his boat and he said, um, let me come with you. Because, you know, he wanted to follow the, the Lord and he wanted to go with him and he thought he would be able to better serve the Lord out there with him and with the other disciples and Jesus told him no he couldn't go um, and he said to him stay here and tell everyone what the Lord has done for you and so um, the man obeyed and the most amazing thing happened I had never read this before um, but Jesus told him return to thine own house and show how great things God hath done unto thee. And it says, He went his way and published throughout the whole city how great things Jesus had done unto him. And this is the fun part. And it came to pass that when Jesus was returned, the people gladly received him, for they were all waiting for him. That man better served the Lord by staying home and showing everyone in his city what Jesus had done for him. And oftentimes, you know, I myself, I wish I could be a missionary. Or I wish I could do all of these wonderful things for the Lord. And I feel like I do so little for him. And it saddens me. But sometimes the best thing that we can do for the Lord is to show people what he's done for us. And those people at that moment may be rejecting Jesus. They may be throwing him out of town and telling him to get on a boat and leave. But that man, he went back to his city and he published to the whole city all the things Jesus had done. He told all of these people who were angry and hated Jesus, who couldn't stand Jesus, he told them anyways all the wonderful things Jesus had done for him. And then I would believe that he lived a life that showed he was changed from the Lord Jesus Christ. And so when Jesus did come back to that town, those people had been watching that one man. And they had seen that those devils didn't return to him. And they had seen that that man didn't go back into those caves. And they had seen that that man wasn't crazy anymore. And it was, he wasn't doing foolish things anymore. Instead, he was talking about Jesus. He was praising the Lord. He was praising God. He was living a life that, that honored the Lord. And they saw that. Y'all, people are always watching us. And sometimes the best thing that we can do for the Lord is not to go out to another country it's not to knock on doors. It's not even to stand on a street corner. Sometimes the best thing that we can do for the Lord is to show other people 
what God has done in our life. So keep that in mind when it feels like you're not serving the Lord because that's what Jesus called that man to do. And maybe that's what he called you and I to do is just to show others what he's done in our life. That way when he does come for them, they'll be waiting and wanting his return. God bless you, sisters.